Hello, I'm here with Antonio de Padua Maria Severiano Lopez de Santa Ana y Perez de Lebron to talk about his life and related things. Thank you, Stacy. Santa, can I call you Santa? I'm going to anyway. But I don't want... Now Santa. So, rumor has it you were raised by a pack of wolves. Absolutely not. I was raised by a respected Spanish colonial family, wealthy enough to send me to school. And you became a cadet at the age of 16, following being sent to an infantry regiment. Yes. You've been called Napoleon of the West. Why is that? Well, I'm a devoted collector of Napoleonic artifacts. And what about the eagle? No comment. So, you've been president of Mexico 11 times. Well, not all at once, but... And during the Mexican-American War, you were hit in the leg by cannon fire, and you shattered your ankle, and it required to be amputated. And you buried it with full military honors, yes? Yes, that is in fact true. But my treasured cork leg was captured and kept by your filthy American troops during the Mexican-American War as well, and I want it back! Oh, you mean the leg kept in, kept in the Illinois National Guard Museum in Springfield? I want it back! Now, calm down, Santa. Okay. Now, I know you were involved in the Texan Revolution, and... I know you felt some feelings during it. Can you tell me what you felt during the Battle of the Alamo? Hunger! It, I, I mean, anger! How dare those filthy Texans think they can just declare independence against my great authority? <sighs> well, aside from that, there must have been some great heroic act where you saved hundreds of people's lives, right? Well, we did have the ball at Goliath, where we ordered up a bunch of Texans, and we had a, the greatest shindig of them all. <laughs> oh, the Goliath ball. Huh. Now, uh, what did you do there? We shot them. Oh. Hmm. And it says here you married a 15-year-old. You married a 15-year-old? Yes. Is there something wrong with that? Oh, no. I was just reminiscing about my parents. So... I know that you've been exiled to many places. Can you tell us something about that? Oh, well, I've been exiled in Cuba, Jamaica, St. Thomas, uh, those little islands and whatnot, and uh, also the United States. Oh, where? Um, well, Staten Island, New York, and um, I was known to bring in the first shipments of chickle. I love chickle. Now, you may know chickle as the thing that we make chewing gum out of. That's why they're called chicklets, if you've ever had them. He tried to make tires, but that's another story. What's wrong with my ideas? I love my ideas, they're perfect! That's all the time we have today, folks. Join us next week when we inter interview General Custer in our new segment, What Went Wrong? Santiana fought for Spain away. Santiana and Santiana gained a name on the plains of Mexico.